All right. Well, in the last episode, I got the only real guns that matter to me in the game. Free Sniper and Sleepy Time. Now I figure we just keep making our way around Vegas here. We'll eventually get to Camp McCarran and do some questing there. Try to level up a bit. But uh, see what there is to see on the way. There's a uh, lot of uh, locations still to be discovered. Entrances to Vegas and various areas right around Vegas. So you have the Thorn and places like that. That Crimson Caravan right here. Notice these manhole covers, like, everywhere. Uh, a lot of them, uh, you can actually go down, and I think they, m for the most part, eventually lead to the Thorn. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to claim to have honestly searched all the sewers around Vegas. From what I understand, it's kind of... Well, I don't want to compare it to the subways in Fallout 3, because those were epic locations in and of themselves. Hey but uh, Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in... It's probably quite a bit of territory to, to cover down there. Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. I'll see you mm, around. Ringo. We could plan some more really cheap hands of caravan if we wanted to get a few more games under our belt, but... uh. Over here, now we could steal these. I'm not going to bother. They don't. They don't really cost anything. But uh, and also, I've stolen stuff here, and I've found this guy to get glitched. He'll he'll hang out in the barracks. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection. And you can still find them, but you have to go through a loading screen every time you want to talk to them. Maybe. What do you want to know? Don't know if they're related, but I, I, it's happened more than once. Trade with you, my friend. Trade. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a crimson caravan branch in it. Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. Need anything else? Can do. All right, so let me go ahead and get those uh, psychology books from him so I can return to Bitter Springs, give them to the doctor there. That'll complete that part of that. And then uh, when, when I get to McCarran, I'll ask for some troops. And I think you, as long as you're at least accepted, I believe, uh, what's his name, Colonel Shu, I believe he'll give you troops uh, immediately. Um, if you're not, then you may have to do some questing for him, do some favors for the NCR guys there, run some bounties, or, you know, things like that. Um, we could go talk to McLafferty in the main, uh, the main offices here, but... Uh, the thing with that is she's she's going to send us to, I think, Freeside for the first of her little side quests. Then she'll eventually ask us to steal some uh, schematics from the uh, from the gun runners. We have to sneak into their little thing. And then she'll eventually have us go uh, talk to Cass to buy out her caravan in the name of Crimson Caravans. And then that starts Cass's little personal side quest, which eventually leads back to Alice McLafferty, the leader of the Crimson Caravan. Or the business lady in charge there. Anyway. Alright, so heading over this way. I already discovered that entrance there. There's a ranch house out there where we may find some... Uh, either a viper, little little viper outpost, or a powder ganger outpost. I don't remember. It doesn't really have any relevance that I remember. But uh, go kill a couple things there if we wanted to. For now, I think I'm just going to run around and discover some stuff. Okay, we can use that one, so we could go down and explore the sewers with that right there. I'm sure that's a day of, of just running around looking at stuff in and of itself. I wouldn't doubt it. Like I say, I believe all of them do eventually lead back to the thorn, though, at least for the most part. 
sounds like an easy place to get lost to me. You know, here's H and H. Um, let's go in here. There is a little bit of history with Mr. House. It's a House and House Tool Company. Is what that stands for. There's another manhole cover. It is everywhere, aren't they? And uh, I believe his brother ran this place, but there was a, a serious amount of paranoia involved. We'll see. You can read the computers here, and you can pause any of these. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and bring them up and show the you know show the screen. Um, there'll be standard emails, but then there'll be a special something on each one. Okay, here's here's just the basic emails that we'll find on all these computers. And it talks about some of the security measures that are put in place where people can't even use the bathroom or even think for themselves. They can only speak in English and, and different stuff like that. Anyway, like I say, you could, you could pause and read all of these. But he went so far as to put automated turrets in there and... Uh, you had to even give, like, genetic samples, hair and skin samples, <laughs> I guess, so the robots wouldn't shoot you and so that you could prove that you were you, and uh, it's very weird. Anyway. All right, and then we get in here, and then we see some uh, special journal entry. Okay, now this is uh, absolute paranoia about communist intrusion, I guess. And we'll see a, a few emails, like hidden notes from, from that person in some of these computers. And then we'll see other emails between other people here. Some of the workers, apparently. Um, there's like two guys and a girl. And one girl, one of the guys is secretly having an affair with, with the girl who is actually the wife of or the girlfriend of the other guy or something. And there's a little of that in there. You, you, you kind of get the gist of it. And they're a little freaky. Um in their activities and so it's it's kind of funny you know but uh like i say you can read all that in the emails you get a little backstory but uh anyway from what i understand this was house's brother that ran the tool company i well i guess if it's house and house essentially both of them ran it but mr house proper went off and there was something dealing with uh robco also and uh, you know anyway like I say, read read that, and then there's there'll be other things that you can find out in the world by talking to NPCs and reading certain stuff and hacking computers here and there and whatever that will that will give you other sides to the story, you know, so that you can get the full picture. There you go, Monica. Punch it in the face. That's what I'm talking about. I guess that doesn't count as a robot. Oh, well. Worth a try, right? Okay, let's see if there's any working computers in here. Or maybe that did count as... I don't know. All right. Well, anyway. I'll always take caps, even if it's just one. One is better than none. Okay, notice there's a, a special email, personal email here. And apparently they weren't really even supposed to be talking to each other through emails and stuff, and everything was being monitored, and a lot of a lot of paranoia here is very strange. But then again, the war happened, so they couldn't have been too paranoid, right? There had to be something to that. Matter of fact, you find out that a lot of these conspiracy theorists were actually right. Uh, there is something to be said for that. Okay, so this is from Jack to Dobson. Apparently they were buddies, but then you have Jenny, and that was the girlfriend of one, but... I guess sleeping with the other two or something. Or then, well, then you have this. Out, I don't know. I don't know how many people were involved here, but uh, anyway, you can read those emails and check it out for yourself. And I'll take those. Thank you. Okay, now there is a uh, somewhat of a glitch here, and uh, I don't think there's anything in that hallway. Um, actually, I don't I don't stop through and explore here every playthrough, but um, when I when I have before, there's a stairway in here with kind of a glitched landmine that um, you can't disarm. Well, I mean maybe you can. I've never been able to. It gives me problems. The problem is the landmine is is situated right near some of those uh, what are they oxygen or fuel or nitrogen tanks or or whatever they're. Whatever they're full of, all I know is they blow up and they, they kill, like, you and everything around you. I'll let Veronica go ahead and finish punching him out. 
All right, and it's it's up this staircase. I think we can see it from here. Um, I think that's it. Not sure. No, that's not. Or at least, uh, but I, I think that's where it's at. Or no, maybe ah, uh, there there it is, right there. Okay. Anyway, it's kind of like glitched in the floor. Be nice if I could just shoot it from here, right? So one thing I can do though to keep it from outright killing me is blow these up ahead of time. These guys right here. Because this is actually what kills you. At least that's the experience I've had here. So what I'm going to do is back way up here. Nope. Oh, that's a whole lot worse than the landmine. For whatever reason. Okay, worst comes worst. I don't think the landmine, one landmine in and of itself is going to kill me outright. Even if I took... Even if I took all of it. Now see, something else blows up too. You, you can kind of hear a secondary explosion. I don't know. All I know is that's that's nasty stuff, and I've I've tried to trigger that landmine, and I can't, can't disarm it. So anyway, problem solved. All right, so let's get up here, and I guess this would be Mr. House's office proper up here. I wonder if there's any more really uh, stringent security measures in place up here. I don't know. Let's see a toolbox. I wonder if it's got any scrap electronics in it. Those are like gold right now. Nope. No. We have we have some landmines at least. All right, ten of twenty-five. Need to disable fifteen more landmines to get that challenge, whatever it's worth. Doesn't really matter. It's XP. I'll take it. Suspicious terminal. All right, so we have hidden network drive, and here we have another little personal note from uh, whoever this person is. See the paranoia kicking in. Okay, now it, it it says it actually leaves a note that you have that journal entry, so it has some importance in something later. See this tripwire here. Like I say, I always look for the posts. There we go. Make sure there's nothing else nasty waiting for me. Notice all the safes have been uh, cleaned out, probably by whoever fled when the bomb started dropping, maybe, or something. You kind of learn in Bethesda games to kind of look at the environment and try to read a story into what you're seeing. Okay, now this. I, I'm i not sure exactly um, what this pertains to, but what we're going to see here once we, once we get this hacked, assuming we can get this hacked, let's see what we got. Okay, well, can't have any letters in the same position as Monastery. That should make it easy, right? Uh, or not. Let's try that again. And so we're going to find this um, override thing. And I don't remember if it's if it's main story in-game stuff dealing with Mr. House or if it has something to do with Mr. House and the uh, and the Lucky 38 itself. But uh, it, it has some importance. This is something you can come do either for yourself or for a side thing. Maybe for the Yes Man. I, I don't really remember. Anyway, but uh, here's where it's at. I, and I think you can do this right here in more than one place. But Executive Override, I think, has something to do with either unlocking a secret area or... Anyway, I'm going to leave that to the in-game stuff. Not sure. But uh, but there it is. So if you ever need an Executive Override, it's in that computer. <laughs> Just put it that way. For whatever that's worth. Right on. But uh, we found it, and we've got it now. We also have a VIP pass card for whatever that's worth. I have no idea. See what's down this hallway. Make sure there's no more nasties waiting for us. Gotta be something, right? Or not? Guess not. Okay. Looks like we have maybe more computers. No, these aren't working either, are they? Dead robot. No scrap metal. Alright, well, here we go. And, uh... Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> Don't ask me. Somebody has completely lost it. That's that's all I get from that. And those are all standard emails. Okay, nothing new there. 
Well, I guess, if nothing else, being able to disarm uh, quite a few um, landmines and traps and stuff counted for something. I mean, that, that was worth it in and of itself. I mean, you, you can't get that challenge unless you find stuff to actually disarm, so there is that, I, I guess. I don't know, maybe not too worthy of a side trip, but I, I guess for anyone that would find that executive override important, I, you know, I, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and title this video, Executive Override, so anyone looking for that would know where it is, and I'll, I'll just do that, and then hopefully just one person out there saying, where the hell do you find this thing? Then, uh, well, there you have it, and then it would help somebody, so that's, that's what I'm going to do on that. But uh, I believe we're out of traps and out of anything else to search for. This isn't an overly big area, at least pretty simple. Not a whole lot of twists and turns to uh, map out, so there we go. I think I've gotten everything I can get. That's uh, good for a day's work, and on the next one, we'll we'll carry on, and we'll uh, eventually get to Camp McCarran, right? I mean, eventually. At least we hope so. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and if you want to catch the rest of this Let's Play up to this point for this build, um, hit the top box. If you want to catch a complete list of all my playlists, hit the bottom box, and if you want to subscribe and support the Ninja Flips, hit that button right there over my head, and if you're still listening, remember to like, share, comment, all that good stuff. All right, y'all take it easy. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.